Over the past few years, we have accomplished so much together, especially toward our goal of liberating our communities. We wanted to share a list of 10 major victories we've won, recognizing that each of these is the result of the contributions and commitments of so many of you. Our first victory is ending ICE detention. We continue to celebrate the end of the ICE detention contract at West County Detention Facility and our running vigil that spans seven years and engaged 10,000 people. This closure has inspired other local closure efforts across the country. We continue organizing to end the Yuba County contract and the facilities in Adelanto. Through faith sign-on letters, actions, calls to elected officials, and the pilgrimage for a better future, we bring forth the possibility of an end to immigration detention. Our second victory is saving lives during COVID. In the midst of the pandemic, those inside prison and detention centers found their lives especially at risk since they were unable to social distance, wash hands, or have basic access to masks and cleaning supplies. Detention and incarceration were quickly becoming a death sentence. We insisted everyone's life is sacred and everyone deserves to live. Through interfaith outcry and public action combined with legal actions from our partners, Today, the number of immigrants held in ICE detention in California is down 57%, and the number of those held in prisons is down 33%. We celebrate this acknowledging that prisons, jails, and detention centers are notorious for medical neglect and always a health risk, pandemic or not. Our third victory is providing support and accompaniment to new asylum seekers through a Nueva Esperanza accompaniment program. Together, we have supported immigrants from Afghanistan, Eritrea, Cuba, Honduras, Nicaragua, Venezuela, Argentina, Cameroon, and Russia, as well as their families. Through you, we have reached the milestone of training and matching the 100th accompaniment team. 88% of those accompanied say they reached their six-month goals. 96% say they got connected to resources. And 92 families have received emergency funds during the pandemic. Our fourth victory is stopping new jails in LA. In the city of Los Angeles, which boasts the largest jail system in the United States, interfaith movement is part of a growing coalition which has turned the tide against mass incarceration policies. In 2019, we helped to stop the relocation of the LA Women's Jail. And in the same year, we helped to stop the $2 billion expansion of the men's jail. And in 2020, we helped get a commitment from the LA Board of Supervisors to bring a close to the Men's Central Jail. Our fifth victory is achieving landmark legislative wins. Interfaith movement, strategic faith voice, and faith-rooted organizing are achieving landmark legislative wins in our state. California's ban on for-profit prisons has set a nationwide trend with similar laws in Nevada, Illinois, Oregon, Washington, New Jersey, Maryland, and New York, although implementation of the law in California has been blocked by the GEO Corporation's lawsuit to protect its profits from detention, we believe that we will win. This year, we're seeking new legislative victories like AB 937, the California Vision Act, to end the practice of double punishment for non-citizens, and SB 300, a first step reform of life without parole sentencing, which is disproportionately applied to young people of color. Our sixth victory is winning freedom campaigns and deportation defense. We celebrate the freedom and release of dozens of individuals whom you have helped us accompany, release, and protect from deportation. Thanks to all of your support, we have won the release of 57 individuals who were detained in Adelanto and 17 from Mesa Verde, Yuba, and Imperial Detention Centers. Our seventh victory is amplifying directly impacted leaders' voices. In the last two years, IM4HI has amplified the voices and experiences of 25 directly impacted leaders so they can share their stories and know the truth. We've created three impactful videos that received 23,000 views on YouTube and 55,000 on social media. The youth zine amplified the voice of youth whose parents were detained, and today we have eight directly impacted IM4HI advocates for the Vision Act. The eighth victory is amplifying the faith voice for dignity and justice. Reaching hundreds of thousands of people, IM4HI has generated 108 television, radio, and print news stories 
to elevate the message that everyone has dignity. Everyone deserves fair and humane treatment, and everyone is sacred across bars and borders. Our ninth victory is Floreciendo Tus Sueños, or Project Thrive. Project Thrive empowers people we have accompanied to start small businesses as pathways for income and sustainability. IM4HI was one of the eight organizations in the state to be awarded a grant through the California Department of Labor to promote the entrepreneurship of immigrants, asylum seekers, and people who have experienced ICE detention or incarceration. 77 people have received training and technical assistance, and 20 immigrants or formerly incarcerated received micro grants averaging $5,000. And last but not least, our 10th victory is expanding our faith networks and partners. We're growing, developing new partnerships and appealing to different regional, ethnic, and geographic communities, including Filipino, Filipina, African American, Japanese American, and Latinx faith communities throughout California. Here are samples of the new partners and programs we've established. Public Witness in Adelanto, Sacred Circles in Los Angeles, Fe Justicia Trainings, Immigrant Women in the Inland Empire, Multiracial, Solidarity for Safety and Healing, and you, our many faith and community partners. Thank you for being a part of us.